kind of is one good zone. I guess I don't get to go to bed on time today. Uh, I was first spawned by uh, a commenter who calls herself Beast Ma Beef Master on her channel, but when you click on her channel, it reveals her name, Pamela. And uh, and so I replied back, and YouTube erased it. <laughs> so I retyped it, and YouTube erased it. Apparently, she had gone back and edited her comment. And it had been about 15 to 45 minutes earlier when I saw it and was responding. <sighs> Seriously? And so I then found out after making my comment that was a Proved, I thought she had made another comment and I again replied to that one and I, I went to check the first comment to see if it was there and it's not so, yeah, YouTube did officially delete both our comments, or they're hiding them from me on my channel. <sighs> but the other comment is available to be seen and is abusive. But I nonetheless responded because I assumed she had not gotten to my original comment but she may have deleted it and that's why it's not showing <laughs> but it doesn't seem likely because I would think that she would also delete the other comment too so I, I'll have to save a res my response to do a video about it tomorrow. But the part in which she said in her first comment that she didn't believe that missionaries are lying. And she believed that the prophets, likewise, though she called them the LDS Church, are not lying to us. So that's what this video is about. That yes, the prophets are lying. And missionaries are either lying knowingly or lying because they're illiterate. Which had to do with the second question that I replied to, or the second comment that I replied to about the Christian pastor who converted to the Church of Jesus Christ. It has to do with the church news of President Ballard, president of the Quorum of the Twelve, second in line to be the president of the church. If he can outlive Nelson and Oaks. And uh, it has to do with the big lie of Mormonism. So again, the church is responding to me. <laughs> Unbelievable. So yeah, he's in Canada, Ontario where my mom's mission was, where she went to her mission, which again I find hilarious because I brought that up in the video too. <laughs> and they get assignments as to where to go.
<laughs> they don't just decide one day, oh, I think I'll go here. No, they get assignments. They have to go. <laughs> and so, yes, <laughs> it is a response video to me as they're being kind of a little rude and insensitive because my mom's dead. But I don't worry about it too much. She's betrayed me. And it's interesting, her name's Judy, who is the betrayer of both what's called the Book of Genesis and in those books that are called Gospels, incorrectly named. There are books of Revelation because they were written by Jews. Nonetheless, the big lie. And so he's talking about, in Canada, President Ballard says, first vision, most remarkable event in history. The big lie. Our message is the most thrilling and most profound and most exhilarating message that I know of, says Apostle. He lies. It's the wrong message. It's not Joseph's message, but he's claiming it's Joseph's message. This is what Brigham Young and his Danites have been doing ever since Brigham joined the church. He's been replacing Joseph Smith and the Book of Mormon. Replacing their religion, replacing the interpretation of scripture, replacing their Christ. And it is pure evil, far beyond anti-Semitic, because they claim to be successors of Joseph Smith. They are spitting on their founder with this big lie. And it's not that they don't know. They know damn well they're lying. How do I know they're lying? Because they claim they're the true successors. And that's why they purposely edited and redacted and withdrew and replaced Joseph's works so that they can cover up Joseph Smith and push Christian Jesus. They know this. It is not complicated to read 1 Nephi chapter 1, verse 2 and go, hey, it's Jewish? Because if you can't comprehend that, it makes you illiterate. Even if you're brainwashed, so that all things are Jesus, if you remember that video of mine, from the church homepage of the website, from conference, you still should be asking yourself questions. I, as a kid, being born in the covenant and raised Mormon, faithful in perfect attendance to church and seminary, knew that when the question was, are we Christian? The answer was no. Because the Book of Mormon is about Judaism, not Christianity. And so when I got to the part in the Book of Mormon that says believers in Christ are Christian, I understood it as not Christian Christian. And then I would come to learn about the translation of Christ and that it's comparable 
Hebrew, which is Messiah, and its translation. And I went, oh, okay, I understand. We're not Christian. But the Jesus thing was the malicious lie that the church caused the greatest stumbling block for. Because it's there in the text. What do we do? We're Jewish, but there's Jesus, the Christian Christ. And I, for the longest time, couldn't resolve it because I didn't have Google search, didn't have the Joseph Smith papers available for us. And so, the first vision, we know who the enemy is, and it's this church, because Joseph Smith does not call it the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, as we see it in our canon. The rise and progress of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, nope, that's wrong. The Joseph Smith papers that the church put out says that it was the Church of Latter-day Saints. And it was Willard Richards who shot Joseph Smith in the back who put Jesus Christ in the title. Now you're probably jumping to the conclusion that, well, section 115, Travis. Nelson brought it up in conference, Travis. It's a forged document by a Danite. Did you bother to look up in the Joseph Smith papers? Then you'd have to Google search the name of the scribe. And lo and behold, it calls him a Danite. Now you're getting the bigger picture that I know, that you don't know, because you only come to one video. And it pisses me off that YouTube is making this learner unfriendly that they're turning YouTube into TikTok viewing. Because people need to learn from my videos, not be entertained. So if you don't like my presentation, bleep you. So yes, I'm also responding to Pamela. And so the first vision, because it's the learning of the Jews, just like all of scripture, is not literal history. It did not happen. That's part of the big lie that the church is telling us. Because they tell us it's real. And they tell us it's Jesus who appeared to Joseph. And he doesn't call him out by name. Oh, there it is. Yeah. He doesn't say it because I'll, I'll read it for you. Uh, when he heard the heavenly, or heard our heavenly Father call his name Joseph. This is my beloved son. Hear him. That is our message. He told the missionaries, repeating for emphasis, that is our message. President Ballard returned to Ontario April 21 to 23, addressing missionaries in Canada, Toronto Mission, participating in leadership training meetings. And Any faithful seeker who asks will get an answer, President Ballard emphasized. Listen carefully. This is the true church of Jesus Christ. The Lord has opened the heavens again. That's what he's saying our message is. And it's an outright lie. It is malicious. It is evil. Jesus is not our Christ if you're going to claim Joseph Smith is the founder. And so, yes, President Ballard and all the prophets 
and President Nelson, who keeps pushing the name, are evil. They are knowingly lying to us. And they keep repeating it because they're trying to brainwash you. They're trying to get you to replace Joseph Smith's words and the Book of Mormon, or in other words, their messages. This is not complicated. This isn't open for debate. This is clear cut malicious lies. And apparently Pamela can't see it and Mormons don't want to see it and they get angry and they get rude and they get mean and they get abusive and they threaten and they cause harm because the church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints has weaponized them. They are the enemy.